Hello everybody, welcome to Dr. Chan's Minor Ailments Forum today. And the topic that I'm going to talk about now is not minor at all. Actually, it's extremely serious, but it just happened that my group is called Minor Ailments Forum. But the topic that I'm going to talk about today is meningitis W. Now, you might have heard about meningitis B and C um, a lot because that's the usually the more common one that we see. Um, but actually, recently there's been an increase of number of meningitis W, especially in the UK. So um, we have to be a little bit more vigilant about this condition because number one, not many people have heard about meningitis W before. And secondly, it presents slightly differently to other meningitis at times. So I thought I'll take this opportunity to go through the potential symptoms and the um, the cause of meningitis W so at least we know what to look out for and when to seek for the medical advice so let's just go back a little bit so meningitis actually means inflammation of the uh, lining of the brain called a meninges and uh, septicemia means blood poisoning okay so it doesn't mean that if you get meningitis you automatically get septicemia it doesn't work like that and not everybody have all the symptoms of septicemia when they have septicemia or meningitis when they have meningitis but the general ballpark symptoms are feeling very unwell having a really bad headache um, high temperature they might have a rash which is um, quite specifically they're non-blanching non-blanching means when you put um, glass tumbler onto the rash, the rash doesn't blanch and it still can be seen underneath. So let me just show you a quick picture of how it looks like. Um, so if you have a look at this, so you can see a, um, a limb, okay it could be an arm I think, and a person is holding a glass bottle. So you can see that you can still see the rash underneath the glass bottle. That's what I meant by non-blanching, okay. In serious situation, um, apart from those symptoms that I mentioned earlier on, uh, the person might be uh, very confused, at times delirious, um, really hard to wake, and um, that's very serious. Now, another thing to think about is in toddlers or younger babies, they might present slightly differently to adults. Um, they might, if the baby is younger than three months old, they might not have a high temperature, uh, but it's important to check the soft spot on the top of the head. If they're bulging and really hard, then you know that might be an indication that it could be something serious as well. But anyway, so these are the general symptoms of meningitis and septicemia. Um, but let's talk about meningitis W on its own. So there are actually six different kinds of meningitis, um, including meningitis A, B, C, W, X, and Y. So um, as you know, we have meningitis B and C vaccines anyway, but um, the, uh, the, there's a new vaccine coming out called meningitis ACWY. And basically what it does is gonna replace the meningitis uh, C that we have when we are 14. So the government's trying to uh, replace or make sure that all the 14 to 18 years old in the UK will have the new vaccine by late um, summer 2017. And um, by September 2015, the people that used to have meningitis C booster, for example, someone who's around 14, uh, it will be changed to meningitis ACWY as well, just to have a better coverage. Um, so with meningitis W, you don't necessarily have all the meningitis symptoms or septicemia symptoms that I mentioned earlier on. Quite a lot of them would be very, very unwell with um, joint symptoms, what we call uh, septic arthritis. Uh, they might present with a really painful joint, red hot, and also with severe respiratory tract infection like pneumonia, for example. And some of them actually present with uh, abdominal symptoms, for example, abdominal pain, but these symptoms can progress very quickly and eventually leading to death. So that sounds very scary. So I thought that I'll just tell you this virus is going around and but don't don't be over alarmed by it, but at least be vigilant and know that it actually exists and is spreading and uh, to look out for uh, potential meningitis symptoms or any symptoms that you worry about, trust your instinct and go and contact your GPs uh, for advice ASAP or if you're out of hours then you call 111 or even call 999 for an ambulance for a quick review. 
So um, and one final thing is the meningitis W is actually caused by a particular strain called ST11. And um, the good news is we've now got the vaccine to cover meningitis W and it's changing over now. So um, hopefully we can use the vaccine to stop the spread of this uh, virus. And another thing is you might ask, well, what are we going to do for babies if we're giving the meningitis ACW for um, young adults? Well, the answer is babies, they won't have meningitis ACW vaccines, but they will continue having the meningitis B, which also cover the ST11 strain. So I hope that this little video is educational and uh, help you to kind of understand what symptoms to look out for for meningitis and septicemia and also a recent outbreak of meningitis W. And if you need to know more information, I'll advise you to go and check out NHS website or go to Meningitis Research Foundation, which is I found it extremely resourceful. And I also um, found out that there's an app out there that helps you to identify meningitis symptoms, um, which you can download on your onto your smartphones. So that would be quite useful to have that app on your phones as well. So until next time, take care of yourself. Bye bye.